An old active region rotates into Earth view and fizzles while the sun launches three new solar storms. What are the Earth impacts? Those stories are more in the news this week. Solar activity both fizzles and picks up this week. We had high hopes for region 2699, which was rotating back into Earth view from the backside. This region did perform very well on the backside, but as soon as it got into Earth view, it actually started fizzling out and dying. In fact, it's no longer even considered an active region. It's a plage. So this means you poor amateur radio operators and emergency responders, you were expecting a boost in the solar flux. That has not happened. That means radio propagation is still in poor conditions and will continue to be so uh, all this week. Now, the only good news is that the sun has actually launched three solar storms, one in the north, one in the south, and one here at center disk. The one at center disk was actually a filament eruption, and it is Earth-directed. It's not much in of itself, but we also have this big coronal hole. It's kind of a closing remnant coronal hole, but that should actually give it a little bit of a kick and potentially give us some just some decent storm conditions here, maybe on the 9th or around the 10th. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are anticipating the hit from that mini solar storm, that filament eruption that launched towards Earth, along with some fast wind from a remnant coronal hole, and we could see some disturbances as early as the 9th. Uh, at high latitudes, NOAA is expecting minor storm conditions with that about a 45% chance of a major storm. At mid latitudes, we're still only expecting unsettled conditions with about a 10% chance of a minor storm, which which means we could reach active conditions probably pretty easily, but they just won't last all that long. So you aurora photographers, you better stay on your toes. Switching to our solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, everything is in the green when it comes to solar flares. And as we mentioned, region 2699 was a complete fizzle. We are now dealing with a spotless sun. So you poor amateur radio operators and emergency responders, the solar flux is still low and you're still suffering with poor radio propagation conditions. And it looks like this will continue easily through the week. You might get a small boost when it comes to that solar storm hitting, but outside of that, it looks like you're going to be suffering for a little bit longer. So we have some good news and some not so good news in space weather this week. On the good news side, we do have an Earth-directed mini solar storm that's being followed by a small pocket of fast wind, and these combined might be able to bump us up to storm levels, so your aurora photographers, this should perk you up, especially at high latitudes. We might even get a little bit of a show at mid-latitudes, but you'll have to be on your toes. Now, on the not-so-good news side, Region 2699 that we th was so hopeful about to bump up uh, amateur radio propagation, it has completely fizzled. So we're still sitting in poor conditions for radio propagation this week, and it looks like it's going to continue to stay that way with a spotless sun. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.